Now I'm back at work uh, at Poolan Baritania. I was a new cashier and he was a, a bagger. Well, since she was a new girl, she was kind of cute. So that's how, that's how I approached her. I noticed his name tag and it says Yahweh because his name is uh, a Hebrew from uh, God. Um, in Hebrew, it's called Yahweh. So when I look at his tag, my first reaction was, is that your name? <laughs> like, Yahweh's your name? <laughs> and he looked at me like, Yahweh, why are you surprised? And he looked at my name tag too, he's like, Jinky, that's your name? <laughs> so that's how we started um, talking. She's very open to talk to, easygoing. Uh, she was fun to talk to, so that's, that's what drove me to her. He asked me if he can take me home because I take the bus, so he, he offered a ride home. But that ride home, we end up, you know, going to ZP's. <laughs> Very convenient. <laughs> ZP's is always there, so late night we had a um, Simon and hot cocoa because <laughs> it was cold that time. Since we both live on the west side, I think one day, um, she asked if I could, you know, give her a ride home or pick her up to work. And from there, we just started hanging out more. Our first official was the Paradise Cove right behind. Um, that's our special place. The, the basic, we did the regular activities, um, the games, we did photo shoot. Um, we made it official in one of this beach lagoon when we um, start watching the stars, stargazing. That's one thing that we like to do too as a couple. We like to do a lot of stargazing. Um, everything that she does is like so creatively crafted in her mind, like from her cooking to um, activities that we do with the kids or just regular family vacations. Like from my perspective, it's just a regular dinner. But then for her to actually put everything together, how the food tastes, the setting and all that, it just blows my mind how she is able to piece things together to make it perfect. It's his smile too and I like his teeth. His white, it's just straight. It's like, oh dude, your teeth is better than mine. So that's what I like about him too. Like everything just came together, like us having uh, kids, us having a family, her planning, um, giving us ideas how and what we should do, um, making pretty much like when I throw out ideas, it's not really it's not really well put together. For her to um, piece it together, kind of made me realize what I need to do in my life, how I should, um, well, what kind of future I want, and that's one of the reasons why. I wanted to be with this woman because she she brings together my scattered life. Yeah. He's um he's funny and he's very caring person and just polite. He's really um um he doesn't hesitate to give a helping hand. He would always offer help to anyone he come across to. Yeah, so that's what I love about him very caring person. Josh, after 13 years, almost 13 years, we made it official. We're finally married. We can say that we're a complete family now. But regardless if we got married or not, it felt like we've been married. It felt like we were a complete family. Hi, muchacho. Um, Yahweh, mi amor, um, mi corazón, you name it, but you know, you're my one and only, and we did it. You know, we're finally um, Mr. and Mrs. Tiago, and I'm so happy to be your wife, to be um, the partner you want to be with for the rest of your life. Mostly, I would like to say thank you for being there for me, and I hope that one day I can live up to the husband or man that, that
that is right for you. I've been very blessed to have you in my life and most of all for being a good father to our children, Nathan and Bella. I'm so grateful that you're very responsible, not just a father, but also a partner, a friend, and uh, my mi amor. I love you so much and congratulations to both of us, Mr. Yago, my hubby. I love you. Thank you.